welcome and it's 3121. Hope everybody had a wonderful trading day today. Doesn't it feel good when everything is moving in one direction? It seems like it's never going to stop. But unfortunately, we know it has to. And it's actually a really good thing. I'd love to see a, a pullback coming in here pretty soon. I have a lot of information to go through, a plethora of information. So stick around. And before we jump into it, go to that bottom right hand corner, the options tender logo and hit the subscribe button and then press the like if you like this information. Appreciate you joining. All right, let's dive into it. We're going to go through here real quick. SPX on the daily. This is the options expected move. If you're not familiar, give us our playing field to see what kind of move we can make, uh, how volatility is getting tight, real, very similar to Bollinger Bands. Okay. And now the volatility has risen and our bounce is, um, is magnifying that uh, volatility to the upside. Volatility doesn't just happen to the downside. It happens to the upside as well. So a beautiful gap up and go. <clears throat> we have um, we came off of uh, the MACD headed to the downside. It looks like we're bouncing up a bit. We're not quite out of the woods when it comes to the momentum. So we still could cross over and head much higher, but uh, we're going to have to get through that blue uh, MACD line first. So putting some lines on the screen. Trend is our friend. We came, we have this channel, almost like a pitchfork that we drew. Every channel that you draw usually has some sort of midline, and that's what that is. Um, we're on wave one, down at wave two. Uh, technically, that's still not confirmed, but I think that this is wave two is over. Over, over. Um, we regain the 8MA, also that midline in the channel. Um, bouncing off that uh, 50. So with the follow through, what happens next? Let's go down to the 65 minute chart on the ES and we'll check it out from there. And then we'll go on to some trade ideas, <clears throat> the ones that we mentioned this morning and see how those went. All right, so it looks like we had our A, B, C correction. And if you, you see all this mess here, this is kind of the wave count I got out of this. We had our one, Way back down to two. Remember, two invalidates underneath that one, and it did not. So it came all the way back to almost 100% retracement. And then I believe we have a one, two, one, two. Okay, super bullish. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then uh, three, four, three, four. <laughs> That's kind of projection, okay? I think I think all in all, we're coming up to this trend line, um, expected move or even this uh, 3936 to form a neckline for what I think would be very healthy to be a inverse head and shoulders. So if we can um, get up to one of these uh, resistances here, don't you love this pack? This uh, point of control, 3911. We hit that so many times. Look look at that back there. Sorry, I'm, I'm working on a tangent, but that's just beautiful. Look at the turquoise line. Hit it, hit it, came back to it, over it, back to it, under it, back to it, under it, back to it. It's insane. All right, so um, what do we want to do? We want to come up here, hit off some resistance for the main wave one. We want to finish off the real, the um, bigger wave one. And by the way, this is a, on a macro term, this is a large wave three, okay? Um, and then we want to uh, go on our wave one. And then pull back. It doesn't have to be deep. It could be shallow. It could come back to this 38, 59. It can come all the way back uh, to this 38, um, 38, 25 area. And this would be the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder would be in one of these areas. Okay. So let's draw that up on there so we can keep it for further videos. We do this every single morning and after the bell. So if you want to follow us, hit that notification button. And subscribe, and then you can uh, you can see how some of these play out. <clears throat> see how some of this price action happens. So come pull back, and then uh, head higher for a breakout to all time highs. That's what we're looking for. Okay, check out these trade ideas. Let's see. We're gonna go with Facebook first. That we didn't mention that this morning, but the market was so powerful today that uh, I got out of Apple too soon, and I figured, hey, you know what? Facebook was holding back a little bit. It was in this congestion. I thought it might break out. So I just wanted to go for a day trade. Uh, I did that day trade, but I got out um, a, a nice uh, few hundred dollar, um, excuse me, trade. So it's still in that congestion. I, I'm still uh, 
thinking that it's going to break out probably tomorrow, but I didn't hold on onto it. So we'll be watching that one tomorrow. Apple. Apple, beautiful move off the bottom of the trend line. Wave one, two, working on wave three. I should have held on to that one. I just, I didn't, I didn't see it. You know, it's just one of those things. Should have, could have, would have. Anyway, let's move on. A lot more to go on Apple. Tesla. Tesla, kind of the same thing, except it's a little bit weaker. It didn't regain that 8 MA. Maybe we do that tomorrow. Maybe that's just holding back uh, for the next move. Whoa. GDX. GDX, we're still holding on to this one. Boy, oh boy, didn't quite close that gap. If it doesn't, if we start to reverse um, today or tomorrow, then maybe we have a chance. But if it uh, comes under this gap, closes the gap and continues, I'm going to um, jump out of this one. We got some time on GDX and we also have a nugget play as well. Uh, um, Zoom. Zoom, wonderful follow through. Look at that gap. And um, it had earnings. The earnings were amazing. If you look at after hours, uh, it's up about almost 50 points. <laughs> Zoom, fulfilling that uh, inverse head and shoulders. Love it. Hope you got into that. We didn't make it there. <clears throat> Rocket. Rocket finally breaking out of this base. It's just peeking out. Maybe tomorrow we can get some follow through on that. I do expect Rocket to uh, fairly soon. Of course, it's going to oscillate. It's not going to go straight up. Or maybe it will. Um, <laughs> to the golden ratio. And it just happens to be the top of this gap as well. Deking. Wonderful follow through. Also just now breaking out. So we have a lot of fabulous names that are making some moves. Um, wow, a little slow on D-King. Okay. All right, sorry about that. I had to pause the video while D-King loaded up there. But we're making all-time highs now. Just broke out. And we have a channel top way above. I think this one's going to 100 D King. All right. BTC. BTC after it gapped up. It didn't seem to uh, be doing anything else, but we're looking for some follow through. It had some trouble with the AMA, similar to uh, Tesla. So keep our eye on BTC. Um, and that, yeah, that does it. Let's check out Uber real quick. Uber we're in. That's one of our names we're in. Had a nice gap. Yeah, it held up at the 8 of May. It's probably going to have to pull right back, um, maybe form its own head and, uh, inverse head and shoulders. But and crack this line here. That's some resistance right here. As soon as we break that, we're probably headed to the top there. So looking good at Uber. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We're going to do this each and every day. We'll um, see it in the morning. Thanks for visiting us at the Options Center. Hit that subscribe button, bottom right-hand corner.